Hey Camp Barney, it's still Volk from Nature Staff, and in today's video we're doing GIs. Those familiar with Camp might remember that GI stands for Group Initiative. It's one of Nature Staff's ways to bring groups closer together by playing some games to try and work on our communication, trust, teamwork, or other important skills. GIs to me have always been a really important part of Camp because more than the awesome facilities or cool activities, Camp has been about the people. It's about the friends I've made and the experiences I've had with them. And so my way of interacting with the group and how smoothly I do that means everything. In today's video, we've got three nature staff, Alex, Caroline, and Eleanor, showing off a couple cool GIs. First up, we've got Eleanor and her family doing communication breakdown. Hello, my name is Eleanor and I'm on Nature Staff. One game I want to show you is called Communication Breakdown, and it's a great game that we can play right now because you only need three people to play it. I played it with my family and my friend Dania who lives with me, and I wanted to show you guys how it went. So in the game, there are three roles. There's the doer, whose job it is to blindly navigate a task area and complete three unknown tasks. Second, there's the speaker who tells the doer what to do and where to go. The speaker, while able to speak, is facing away from the doer and does not know in advance what the tasks are. The third role is the mimes. The mimes are the only ones that can actually see the task area and who know what the tasks are. They, however, are unable to speak. Say, for example, that the task is picking up the soccer ball and putting it in the hoop. The mimes have to figure out a way to gesture to the speaker what the doer should be doing, and the speaker, in turn, will be telling the doer to go left or right, pick up an object on the ground, etc. So here's how it went with my family. <laughs> so as for what materials you'll need, nice. you'll need okay. a blind All right. you some one sort task. of rope nice or stick or line for a boundary, okay. and an assortment of two to four items which you can be creative with. Um, some of my suggestions would include a beach ball, a hula hoop, a pool noodle, a water um, bottle, a laundry hamper, a jump Before. rope, etc. But anything you can find you can create tasks Stop. with. And so here right. in this recording, Dania is the doer. So Dania's job right now is to pick up a football and put it in a laundry hamper that she had moved earlier. Meanwhile, my brother Carter is the speaker and my parents are miming what Dania should be doing. So starting out, the first thing you'll want to do is choose who will be the doer and the speaker. There can be multiple mimes. Send the doer and speaker away out of sight and earshot and the mimes decide on three tasks to do. Make sure everyone is on the same page about what the three tasks are and the order that they should be done in. Create a boundary for the mimes to stay behind and afterwards go find the doer and the speaker and bring them back both blindfolded. Unblindfold the speaker when they're facing away from the task area. Lead the doer into the obstacle course and spin them around a few times to disorient them. And then have the mimes go back behind the line and you're ready to start. Switch around the roles if you want at the end of the game and try being each of the different parts. wouldn't be much of a camp group initiative without some debriefs afterwards, so here's some reflection questions that you can ask each other. First off, how did it feel to be in those different roles, and what strategies did you find to be helpful? And then some additional questions, if you have multiple mimes in your playing of the game, who tended to take up the most attention, who tended to step up back, and for what reasons? Did one person taking all the attention hurt the flow of communication? 
And if so, how? And lastly, how can we make room for and encourage con contributions from the whole group? Next up, we have Caroline and her roommates with some magic carpet. Hi Camp Barney, I'm Caroline from Nature Staff. Today I'm going to be leading you guys through a GI. For this GI, you will need either a tarp, what we traditionally use at camp, or what I'm going to use, a blanket. I will be doing this GI with some of my friends. Um, we have all been social isolating together and we are basically our own little bubble. We haven't really been interacting with anyone else. So we have been following CDC measures, but these are my friends and you guys at home should follow along and do these with your families. So once you get your blanket set up, you're gonna lay flat on the ground and you and your family are going to stand on the blanket. Can you grab this please move and all stand on the blanket? Now, what I want you guys to do <laughs> with Ava is to fold the blanket in half, but you guys cannot step off it in any ways. Your feet must stay on at all times. So, someone here, like, I'll grab okay. this corner. Is that you're going to get off? No, no, he's off the blanket. So, you can go like this. Yeah, yeah. and then you guys do it. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 So we're going to fold it in half, and then so we're going to step off the blanket. Get the whole length so that we know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if anyone falls off the blanket, it, you don't get hurt. Yeah. So you guys hold it again. This yeah. it has this to be really that side. Can we pull it here? Go. <laughs> pull it off the marina. Okay. Here, right, take that side. I'll just let it. I'm an old dog. I've been burned. Was it hard or not? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Relax. Hey. The whole thing. Okay, hold it one more time, guys. What? What? Um. Yes. Our side? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. We just have to slowly all walk. Hold me. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Don't hurt me. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. 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 I'll hold that one. You got it. Yes. You got it. Okay. Out of here. Ow! Okay. Like that? Nothing over. Like that? What? And now you guys gotta keep going. You 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 gotta keep going. Finally, we have the can for family with some classic group counting and human knot. Hi, I'm Alex Camper. I've been on Nature Staff the past three years and CBM has really been an awesome part of my family for the past, as long as I can remember. My mom both worked at camp and was a camper and then both my brothers, as some of you might know, 
have both been campers and were preparing to be staff this past summer. Today I'm going to be teaching two quick, fun, and simple GIs that really work to bring your family together and teach you some things about working and getting along. So, the first GI we're going to be doing is called group counting. All you're trying to achieve is to count the number of people that are in your group. But the catch is that there's no communicating, meaning talking, pointing, looking, or whatever, outside of what you're doing to just get to that number. So what that means is you're just going to start, is you're going to count up until that number, but if anyone, if any two people say the same number at the same time, you have to restart. So for us, my family, today that's going to be four because there are four of us participating. All right, we're going to be starting in three, two, one. One. Two. 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 All right, so now we restart. One. Two. two. Five. <laughs> so, as you guys know, after we complete a GA at camp, we have to break it down and talk to see what we learned and what the values were. So, how do you guys think that went? Well, pretty good. That's fun. Yeah, I mean, it really, I'm not going to lie, I'm just kind of impressed. It went relatively fast, and we definitely figured it out. So, what do you think were, like, the main conflicts in that? Eye contact helped. Okay, so looking at people and understanding, you know, even though you can't really act it out, you can definitely still get a feel for it. And especially when it's such a small group, there's a lot of give and take, and that, those little details mean a lot. Anything else that you guys think really mattered? Listening. Yeah, and also listening and knowing that, you know, when other people are going, you're able to kind of hear it and know that they're going and that you shouldn't be talking. Also, do you guys think it was easier or harder the more you waited? Easier. Easier? So yeah, another thing is, the longer you wait, you kind of get a better feel for who's going to go as well. Cool. Well, thank you guys. So, for our second GI, we're going to be doing another one that I think a lot of you will be very familiar with. And it works with small groups, but definitely works better with larger groups. So, there'll be some figuring out and some give and pull. So, this GI is going to be human not. All that requires is everyone's going to be in a circle around each other, just like the last game. And then you're going to reach in with one, with everyone's right hand first. You're going to grab somebody, and then once everyone has a partner with their right hand, they're going to reach out with their left hand and then get grasp someone else. And then from that point, all you have to do is unravel the knot. And it cannot be, the one important rule here is that you cannot be grabbing the same person with both hands. And outside of that, the other thing is that you can never, ever, ever let go until you have your circle completely pulled out. I mean, there's no crossing, there's no going under, or anything like that with that. Great, let's get to it. Great, so everyone find someone with your right hand. And now find someone with your left hand. Okay, and now our job is to figure it out. With, by communicating. <laughs> okay, well who else is twisted? Oh, fun. We did it. We're done. So, how do you guys think we did? Pretty good. I agree, it definitely went smoothly, even though some people don't like to talk and to communicate. I love communicating. Well, I hope that goes well for everyone at home, and I just want to say before we go, thank you all for being my lab rats. You're very welcome. Well, if you tried any, how'd they go for you? What went well, what didn't? Who did what? Also, what are some of your favorite GIs? Feel free to reach out on the Camp Facebook to let us know and tell us what videos you'd like to see next week.